Do not tell me we're doing a new Daredevil without Foggy and Karen. Well, we've been getting a lot of reports this week on Daredevil Born Again, and a lot of it has revolved around casting. Not only are we hearing some news about Foggy and Karen, but one other major cast member has actually been replaced. So, let's talk a couple minutes about what's going on, and why this is a pretty big sign this really might not be a season 4 of the show. Well, you remember early on, Charlie Cox said that Daredevil Born Again really would be kind of its own thing, suggesting the show isn't necessarily a season 4 of the Netflix series, but a new story with that character. Now, we started to see some of the original cast return, with of course Charlie Cox leading the way, but then Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, and recently, earlier this week, John Bernthal's Punisher. Now, with the return of more of these Netflix characters, people have been wondering about some of that supporting cast. And we got a whole bunch of interesting news surrounding that, first and foremost about Foggy and Karen. Now, if you remember correctly, in the original series, Eldon Henson and Deborah Ann Wolf played Karen Page and Foggy Nelson. And they were an absolute integral part of the show. Now, earlier this week, we got an interesting report from The Hollywood Reporter's Aaron Couch. And it doesn't seem like good times are ahead, at least for the actors playing the roles. Now, what The Hollywood Reporter had to say is that it's unclear if those characters are going to be recast or exercised from the story entirely. Now, first and foremost, this is kind of sad news. Deborah Ann Wool and Eldon Henson were a great part of the original series, and honestly, I cannot imagine anybody else playing Foggy Nelson. Now, this led a lot of people to start wondering if these characters would actually be removed from the show, since we were seeing so many original cast return. This would allow the continuity to stay somewhat vague but connected, but now we've got a new update on that, and it appears Marvel really might be doing its own thing with Daredevil. Now, earlier today, we got a pretty interesting update from The Hollywood Reporter once again. And this involved a cast member that we knew were already part of the show. We obviously have Charlie Cox, Vincent D'Onofrio, and now John Bernthal. But we also had some other fairly well-known names, including Michael Gandolfini and Sandrin Holt. Now, all their roles have been kept under wraps. But earlier today, the trade actually revealed who Holt is going to play in the upcoming series. Now, what they revealed is she will actually play Vanessa Fisk, Kingpin's wife. Now, in the original series, this was played by Ilette Zerare, but clearly they're going in a new direction and recasting the character. Now, this has pretty big implications for all of the other supporting cast, because this means Marvel has completely opened the door to recasting those characters, and the fact that Eldon Henson and Deborah Ann Wolf aren't coming back as Foggy and Karen might not necessarily mean Foggy and Karen are not part of the show. Now, this is a pretty big change from what a lot of fans were expecting, and honestly, I'm a bit surprised. I know a lot of the original show actors and actresses were more than willing to return for this series, but it appears Marvel might be focusing on the big-name actors and maybe establishing this as somewhat as part of a multiverse, something they've suggested all along, by recasting the supporting characters that honestly will probably matter less to many fans. Now, obviously, we're going to keep getting a lot of Daredevil news. The show just kicked off production. As a matter of fact, we found out that Dexter and Homeland director Michael Susta is directing the first episode. Not a bad first choice. Dexter was a great show, but I really am curious if he's going to be directing any other installments of the series. Now, beyond that, we know Matt Corman and Chris Ord are on board as writers and executive producers, and the show will debut sometime in 2024, but Marvel obviously hasn't set a release date yet. I've said several times, I think this is going to be one of the biggest shows ever for Marvel, and I think it's super important for Marvel establishing that New York street-level heroes that we heard Kevin Feige talking about. In any case, it appears the show is obviously coming together quickly, and we're going to have lots of news, so stay tuned.